An outdated stretch of road in Plymouth is slated to undergo a massive overhaul to the tune of $30 million. As Delane Cleveland reports, Plymouth City officials made a pitch to state lawmakers this week to help secure a large portion of that funding for County Road 47. In the northwest corner of Plymouth, thousands of cars use County Road 47 every day to travel from east to west. But according to city officials, there are a number of issues with this road, which was originally designed in the 1920s. It was for farm equipment, tractors, and in 1960 it finally got paved and it basically hasn't changed since. That was one of the messages Plymouth City officials had for members of the state's Capital Investment Committee, which visited the area Thursday afternoon as part of its bonding tour. It's twists and turns, there's two feet on each side of the road, so you can't bike, you can't walk. In the last decade, the population grew by more than 10,000 people in this area, and the Wyzetta School District constructed a school along the road, which further necessitated the upgrade. Now, the city has a $30 million plan to modernize this four-mile stretch of road, and they're asking the state for $20 million in bonding dollars. Uh, without these improvements, this roadway is not going to be able to provide a safe corridor for the region itself. Yet, while Plymouth is asking the state for money, funding for this project has been complicated. Hennepin County has agreed to provide $5 million, which would cover costs to resurface the road. The Plymouth City Council wanted more, but county officials say there's only so much they can do. So we understand where the city is at and what they want to do. And we know that we have a lot of you know demands on our system. We have 2,200 lane miles and... Uh, about 150 bridges that we have to, that we manage. And so it's a lot in that system to manage. Now it's up to the state bonding committee to determine if they give the funding request the green light. Oh, definitely hope. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.